evening, my dear fellow Toastmasters and most of our guests. I'm your language evaluator tonight. And I usually evaluate the language in four different parts. The first part is competence English. The second part is your performance English. The third part is your fluency English. And the last part is your correctness. However, of all the parts I've been to, NTU's competence, performance, fluency, and correctness are all of a very high standard. Therefore, I will not be very general, I'll be very specific in terms of evaluating the session today. For example, when our postmaster Daniel today came up and said, Toastmasters, you thought Toastmasters is actually massive of making toast. That's very important in English that you know the humor. Like Toastmasters has to be Toastmasters, like what you wear on your t-shirt, Toastmasters, speaking communication skills. But if you use examples that the same thing could also be something else that gives you two options when speaking. And another thing that was that we all say was cut into the point. You cut to the point. You don't just say, oh, I like coming here and this and that. Oh no. I'm happy to be here. You use one or two words instead of a long sentence to express the same idea. Next up on this, you see many speech in the world, like sometimes presidents say, thank you, thank you all, thank you very much. I heard that today. It's very good you continuously express your gratefulness to the audience. You just say thank you, you go. So thank you, thank you all, and you go. And you thank you, thank you all, thank you so much. Then the audience will automatically feel happier if you say thank you more times than only one thank you. Maybe you think you're proud or oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. That's something you could try to use because language is not just the language, but also the culture you use. And the next thing on the list is, someone say, if you come to NTU, there's boundless opportunity to reach our goals. That's a very beautiful sentence. Boundless opportunities to reach our goals. And the next thing is, the technology today is getting better and better, but the environment is getting worse. You use comparison in your sentences, people know what you're talking about. Then the person used doctors healing hands. Doctors don't have healing hands, but doctors can heal with their hands. That is also a comparison, very good use in the sentences. And the person always, always used to keep you moving on forward till the end. That is something inspiring when you listen to it. Oh, to keep you moving on till the end. That's something you can try to use in your language. Something that is longer than one or two words, but that keeps you moving all the way till the end. Then the person will receive more than just a few sentences like reaching your goal. And the next thing on the list is someone say a symbol or something. Like this could be a symbol, a thunderstone symbol. What's a symbol of NTU? I don't know yet. What's a symbol of Toastmaster? A symbol of something is a compressed idea of ideas. If we use a symbol like I heard someone say inception and this is exactly like you something ideas into your head. Symbols could be very powerful like wearing your t-shirt with a Toastmaster speaking club. Therefore it's very important and very good to use that in your speech. And also another person say a concrete concept in the mind in the Chinese people. That's also a very good way to put forward something that is very important in people's mind. What else is very concrete in our Chinese people's mind? Maybe the Moon Festival, maybe the Chinese New Year, maybe something is concrete. Ideas are not concrete, concepts are not concrete either, but you can use the opposite adjective to make it feel like concrete. Okay, that's all the two points I wanted to say. Obviously, an evaluator cannot be so biased as to, oh my god, NTU is the best in the whole world. <laughs> and even though you guys are the best, you probably in the whole Taipei city, I have some suggestion to make. When you say what we do in Toastmaster, you could also do something like, the mission of a Toastmaster is to provide a mature, supportive, and friendly environment which the members can practice the communication and leadership skills, which in turn foster self-confidence. And, which was the last one? Personal growth. If you explain something more specific, people will know what we're doing to those masters. So try to memorize the mission of those masters and try to use it when you say what we're doing to those masters. That's one thing we can try. 
And one other thing I found today is we have some grammatical tenses and word form mistakes. Like I graduate last year. What do you think I should be saying? I graduated or I graduate. Okay, multiple choices. Graduate, graduate. Graduate. Yes. There's something very the ED is something that we always forget when we are very nervous or very, very concerned about our speech. But don't worry. Graduating and graduate are two very different words and two different tenses. That's something you try to remember. And the next thing is someone say, oh, something to be strange. Kind, some kind of strange. Uh, there are too many adjectives in one sentence. Some kind of strangeness. When you use many different words in conjunction in a sentence, try to slow down some kind of strange. It sounds strange. It's very strange. But when you're trying to use the art of English language, try to combine different things together, but not too many things because they will lose their original meanings. Maybe the person wanted to say, it is very strange, but some kind of strange forms an adjective sentence. Okay, the next thing I wanted to say was concentrated could also be say as focused. It has two different meanings, but focused has a more positive meaning than concentrating. We concentrate on the vocal content today, or we focus on the vocal content today. We concentrate on the grammar today, or we focus on the grammar today. They, are, they have the similar meanings, but focus could be a better word than concentrate. And the next word could be something very funny. You know, one word is that people usually going to be saying, can you say a piece of paper? It's a uh, S-H-I-T or S-H-E-T. <laughs> But that's why I mentioned try to speak slower because a um, sheet of this paper is very different from a you know what. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, don't worry if you make me say we talk to and we always try to tell our friends. But if you go to, uh, for example, America, hey, you have a piece of the. Uh, <laughs> think, oh my god, you keep on speaking. Hey, that, that thing is so. Uh, <laughs> then, Try to, because people will be very polite, they don't tell you, but you keep on making the same mistakes. Try not to use the short vowel, use a longer one. And the next thing is plan and purpose. What well, these two words are very similar. We have a plan today to do this and that, but the purpose of Toastmaster is very different from the plan of the Toastmaster. That is just the idiot's way of it. That's something I wanted to mention. And another word class thing, serious and important. Oh, this is very serious, but is it not important? Oh, this is very important, but it's not serious. It is very serious. We have a timer in a Toastmaster club. No, it's not very serious. It is very important. It sounds almost the same, but try to use different words sometimes like, oh, you're so pretty, but you're so beautiful. Or you try to use more than one vocabulary to express the same idea, then the person might get a different response. If you go to Gideon and say, oh, you're so pretty every day, Gideon must think, oh my god, that guy is just telling the lie. But if you say 10 different vocabularies in one week, then Gideon goes, oh my god, the guy is real. That's not telling you how to say things to girl, but... <laughs> but there are more vocabularies for one meaning than one word. And last thing I wanted to add is, when you borrow money from a bank for your house, it's a mortgage. You can say a mortgage or a loan. Okay, coming back to come to my language evaluation. NTU Toastmaster standard is higher than most of the Toastmaster club. Therefore, I could not give a general evaluation in terms of language. But I gave specific examples, such as if you see Gideon, don't just say her, she's pretty every time you see her. Say something else. And that's my language evaluation today. Thank you so much, Toastmaster.